23 ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. Good evening, I'm Jessica Harrington. Here's what's making headlines around Kern County. State officials announced today that the California Department of Motor Vehicles improperly disclosed private information to seven other government agencies on more than 3,000 people. Those people were supposed to be under some type of criminal investigation, but now the department is sending letters to those people apologizing after determining they are not currently being investigated. Officials said the department improperly gave federal, state, and county agencies what were supposed to be internal notes, such as whether drivers' social security numbers had been checked to see if they were valid or falsified. Today, dozens participated in a special golf tournament, all benefiting a good cause. The 2019 Global Family Invitational was hosted at the Bakersfield Country Club, and it featured an afternoon filled with food, beverages, competition, prizes, and more. Funds raised go toward Global Family's local daughter project effort. The daughter project is an asset-based approach to the prevention of child trafficking and sy systematic abuse. 23ABC's very own Allison Gargaro and Tim Callahan played in today's tournament as well. The California Highway Patrol has partnered with the Office of Traffic Safety to implement the California Restraint Safety Education and Training Program. The campaign will run for one year and focus on reducing the number of unrestrained and improperly restrained children killed in traffic collisions throughout the state. To accomplish this goal, the CHP will host educational seminars, classes, and child safety seat inspections. And temperatures were 11 degrees above average this afternoon, and that trend is only going to continue for the rest of the work week into your weekend. We are going to be seeing temperatures in those low 80s, and they could range anywhere from 10 to 13 degrees above average. Those sunny skies continue into early next week, but it looks like we are going to be dropping down to the upper 70s. That's your latest news and weather update. For the latest news anytime, be sure to log on to our website, turn to 23.com.